Hey guys, here you are in the Xfinity series at Circuit of the America. In this video I'm going to do a lap around the track and then I'm going to show the lap in slow motion and do some analysis of just but corner by corner. So without further ado, let's head on to the lap. So that was a 220.439, and that was with 60% track usage. So now, um, before I go on to the lap analysis, I just want to point out that for this uh, lap, I was using the fix setup, uh, like the CODA setup, with 62% brake bias, and I think it was either 10 or 12 uh, for the steering ratio. So, so make sure we're on the correct lap before we start here. But just some short notes if you don't want to watch the rest of the analysis, basically. Make sure to just try to focus on uh, having partial throttle throughout a lot of the corners and so just being off the throttle. Partial throttle will just help uh, the car's stability and also will help your lap time. And also, um, I guess, try to focus on the downshifts like being pretty late and avoiding a lot of the curves for the hairpins because the hairpins can also help sell the car and downshifting early can uh, get the car really loose. So those are the main points we'll be focusing on, but um, if you would like to stay for the uh, full analysis, I guess uh, here we are. So as I get up to the first corner, I'm just going to slow down uh, about quarter speed for a second. And we should basically be looking for the pit wall. That's not exactly our breaking point. Basically, a little bit like one or two car lengths past the uh, pit wall. I can see right around now, that's when you start getting on the brakes. We're getting down to about 75% brake pressure. You don't want to start locking up the brakes. And I found this was actually pretty hard to determine whether you're in third or fourth gear. I think I started, went up to fourth gear, but I feel if you just rev in third gear, that's also fine. You can kind of see, try to brake a straight line and start turning in as the uh, elevation starts flattening out. You can just kind of see the apex on like the very left uh, part of like the window, but just try to turn in uh, as late as possible. Again, you don't really want to hit the inside curve. You want to get as close to it as possible. You can just see how long you have to be on partial throttle before you get to full throttle. That's really important. That's why I'm not going back to full speed here, so you can see how long. So now, even though we're, even though we're, even though we're up to second gear at this point, as we turn in again, just very patient on the throttle here, trying to get to the inside. Um, but still, like, 
two or one third throttle and even as we're starting to unwind the wheel for a minute here it's still taking a long time to get back to the throttle so it's just very easy to get the car to spin out if you get on the throttle too early so it's like while you, while you think uh it may be faster to get on the throttle faster it's all about that balance of keeping the stability of the car i was riffing it up to the second gear as we entered in these um, s's got really close to the curb there it might be but actually a bit too close and this is actually where we use the throttle to turn the car more than the uh, the wheel itself and a little bit of the brakes so again you kind of see the car got a little oversteer there I kind of had to correct it with the wheel using the brake to get the car a bit closer to the corner it's like I used the brake to initially get the car rotated and then I use the wheel to kind of like make those fine corrections but for these S's that you're using like the the pedals to turn the car more than anything so again getting close to this curb as possible I'm gonna speed up for a second here and as we uh, get into this section, this right-hander coming up is really important. So again, trying to just uh, stay as far left as we get into this right-hander. And then look at the brake pedal here. Small uh, touch of the brakes, but we're holding the brakes very late into the corner. You want to make sure that we can get the car rotated and almost get the whole car almost underneath the track, like onto those red and white curves. So we want to keep the car as far over to the right as possible as we get into this left. If we can get the car very far over, it's going to give us a better approach with this left-hander, which is going to bring us onto this long straight. If you can't get the car rotated over, you're going to have to let off, and then you're not going to have as good of an exit. In I still had to do a bit of a correction there, but um, you can see I'm getting back to full throttle. Still not full throttle yet, though. And I think as we're waiting to uh, get up to this left-hander, you'd think that we can start getting on the throttle, but this the car gets very light here, and so that's a good time to shift to third gear. I'll speed back up here. Then as we get to this braking zone, right as we get under the banner, that's a good place to start braking about two thirds, three quarters, and just uh, keeping that uh, threshold braking, and then we'll start trail trailing off. Uh, it's hard to really judge a point that you start focusing off, but again, not wanting to get hitting the curb. We want to stay as close as possible. Um, let's see if we as we're turning in, you can't really see anything, but basically try not to run too wide here. But still trying to get as close to the curb as possible and just looking how long it takes for us to get back to the throttle here so still two-thirds still thirds even though we were on the straight when we're still straining out the wheel still two-thirds still and finally we were able to get back to the throttle as we upshift so again just being very patient on the throttle on acceleration and um, late apex is at that hairpin just getting back up to the speed here it's up the third gear bringing up the fourth gear here and as we start a braking zone, we are looking basically for the start of the curbing on the right. That's normally a good um, braking zone. And, we're, and as soon as we get to the green, hard on the brakes, about again 75% uh, pressure. And down third and down second, we can go to those pretty fast. And if we, uh, you can see uh, that's down to second, but waiting pretty long until we get down to first. I think we're still in second here. And down to first you can see some small corrections this is a corner that's very easy to run wide so making sure you get the car slowed down plenty of time and then uh, half speed here going up to second and this corner i made a small mistake might want to break a bit earlier or i use about 50 percent break but the problem is you can see how much early how early you want to turn in and so you've got to be very patient on how early you want to turn in because the car's not going to break as well and so you can see because of the, because we started to turn in uh, we ran a bit wide and so, um, yeah, just focusing on straight line braking before you turn on it, even if you brake a bit earlier. Again, this next section, just trying to be patient on the throttle, bring the car as wide as possible here. Maybe not uh, kind of, uh, you can see, we're bringing it all the way up to the curb. And then uh, turning in, you can't really see, uh, I don't really have many comments around this section, but again, patient on the throttle. We're still not full throttle, still not full throttle, and finally getting back to full throttle. And then as we'll slow down to an eighth speed here, this has to be one of the most important corners on the whole track, because I spun out so many times entering. You can see us getting on the brake for a minute here. It's like, if you are on the gas just a little bit, you're going to get so much oversteer into this corner. Just be patient getting onto the brakes, really getting the grip onto the front tires because you're just going to need as much grip as possible because your car is going to be sliding the whole way through here. Just going to go back into a quarter speed, still making these small corrections, and I'm finally off the gas, but you want to have just some gas and um, I guess trying to have some stability. And see this last section, like this... Uh, uh, I feel like you kind of want to diamond the corner in a way, but as we get to this uh, last part of the right-hander, 
again, I'd say this is just maintenance throttle. You're not even willing to focus on getting more throttle in the car, basically hovering around 50%, and then finally, as the corner is completely over, and finally get back to the throttle up two thirds, but that's kind of as we go, get into our braking zone, went a bit wider than next to last corner. And then as we approach the final corner, right under the the banner is again a good point to brake going down to first gear but waiting for the downshift even though we're at three quarters brake we're downshifting right about there so braking zone don't focus on the downshifts until you almost get up to the corners again mostly focusing on your line here and uh, the exit curb does come up quickly so trying to get as close to the apex as possible that way you don't run wide on exit and that is a lap around coda uh, wish you luck, definitely a very challenging track to get right, I definitely made a bunch of mistakes in there, but I uh, hope this lap diet helped, and see you next time.